just did a dunk. Hi right, guys. It is another cold winter night here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a Monday night. We have stumbled into Monday, December 5th, 2022. And I uh, <laughs> don't really know where this I guess this is a rant where it's going. So anyway, what I'm doing, you know, since I, I never get out of medium.com anymore and uh, since, since I don't spend much time on the mainstream media news, I, I'm depending more and more on to, to my trusty uh, tribes members sending me articles that they <laughs> they think will appeal to me and I'm you know, as I told, who was it? Uh, Tom, I guess. I, I said, Tom, I, I said, just because uh, I don't get around to all of your articles, uh, it, it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate you sending me them. So, you know, anybody who, who comes across an article in the mainstream media that you think I might want to cover uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, if not that other channel, uh, you know, send them along. So anyway, I'm, I'm going through my emails, just looking at what people, what articles people uh, who listen to me think I might be interested in sharing with the tribe. And uh, so I guess this is trying to explain, well, for one thing, it begs the question, what the fuck was the person who sent it to me thinking? Uh, but then, I guess what I'm going to attempt to do is explain how my sick mind works. So if you're, if you're looking, if you find an article in the mainstream media or anywhere else that you think, uh, well, you know, there's the doom and gloom stuff. Uh, which you can, you know, you can send to me as well over at collapsechronicles at gmail.com. But I'm talking more my mailbag at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, the narrow end uh, of the doomosphere, uh, the, the not necessarily doom related, uh, just uh, whatever. So, like for instance, I was <laughs> I, I I was having this uh, a conversation uh, this morning with a friend who was a little taken aback by my uh, my murder bot. Uh, <laughs> I was quite proud of that murder bot. Rant. I guess about ten people on the planet actually watched the murder bot rant. You know, and and and, and they were asking me like, Hema, do you honestly? Do you honestly believe that shit coming out of your mouth? Do you honestly believe that it is a good thing that uh, that cops are given uh, are getting more and more license to put uh, explosive devices on robots to kill people uh, before they've even committed a crime? And, and guys, I don't know. You'll just have to go watch that video, and, 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 and does Hamlin honestly believe that, or was that performance art? Now, of course, you know part of my decision on uh, on how to uh, whether or not to cover a story is, is, is you know is the performance artist angle of it. So anyway, we're going to look at I, maybe five or six stories from the Humpty Dumpty tribe mailbag over the last week or ten days. And, I, you know, what I, I keep a little file, you know, running. And uh, so first I'm going to talk about two that I just rejected. So if you are the person who sent me, a uh, person or persons who sent me these, uh, d don't be offended. I'm just going to explain it to you. Okay, well, there, there was this this one I remember, you know, about this clueless moron down in Florida, no less, 
who uh, somehow died while stringing Christmas lights on a, not on their Christmas, I guess they were stringing their Christmas tree lights uh, out in the yard, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure, it didn't really explain, I think what they were saying is that he fell, that he fell off the ladder or out of the tree trying to put up the Christmas tree lights and uh, died and broke his neck or whatever. So the guy is dead. He would still be alive if he hadn't been out. So somebody out there in the tribe thought this was a humorous story and that I would appreciate it. So guys, all right, why did I decide not to run that story? The reason is, okay, as much as I, you know, enjoy, you know, clueless morons uh, dying, I guess. Uh, for, okay, if he had been, if he had been stringing lights at the Optimist Club Christmas tree lot and fell and broke his neck and died, I would have read the story. You see, there, there needs to be some sort of dark, twisted, sick irony. But uh, he was actually at an old folks' home. He was stringing the lights, uh, you know, at some uh, old folks' home in Florida. He was, the, I guess, a worker string. And, 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 and Someone falling off a ladder and killing themselves, stringing up Christmas tree lights for old people at a retirement home and dying is not the same story as someone working at the Optimist Club falling off a ladder and dying while stringing up Christmas tree lights at the Optimist Club Christmas tree light. A anyway. I hope you see the subtle difference. Okay, a couple of people sent me the, this video, this viral video. I'm sure you've seen it. If not, it's all over YouTube. About that coyote attacking that two-year-old child in broad daylight uh, out in California uh, two or three days ago. Middle of the day, uh, this dude... This man was out there uh, like working on his car or something, and his two-year-old daughter was, you know, toddling around on the sidewalk, on a suburban sidewalk. And uh, I guess there was the security camera on the front porch. Films this thing, and this, this goddamn coyote comes running down the street and attacks this kid, attacks this little kid. I mean, this, this coyote had every intention of, of, of killing uh, this two-year-old child and eating it and stuff. Uh, fortu uh, fortunately, it, it, uh, it just grabbed the kid, and uh, the, the kid screams, and the father goes and chases the coyote. I, I, you know, so the, the kid uh, was not killed or even hurt by it. Now, the, the video was kind of funny. But does Hambone, now two-year-olds are not my favorite people, and people who breed and have two-year-olds, I loathe a lot more than the two-year-olds that, the, you, know, you know what I'm saying. So is it funny if a two-year-old child gets killed by a coyote? Is, is that something that, that uh, maybe... Uh, it, 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 anyway, the video is funny, okay? But, I, I mean, the reason it's funny is because, it, you know, the kid it, it wasn't hurt. Uh, but, it, it, you know, it's not the same. A, a two-year-old kid who, who has never even considered a coyote getting killed by a coyote is not the same thing as a poacher getting killed by a lion. A lion killing a poacher or a big game hunter is hilarious. Hell yes! And I always absolutely love any story 
uh, where, where some fucking uh, poacher or big game hunter is killed by a lion or stomped to death by an elephant. Uh, hallelujah, but there is a difference. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to put this little... Let's look at... Okay, so those are two stories I'm not covering, although I just covered them, and you should go watch the video of the kid getting attacked by the coyote. Uh, I mean, there is some, there's some humor in it. It's just, it would have been so much better if it had been a poacher. Uh, okay. Here is a story that somebody sent me. Okay, I, I, I'm going to leave out one word in the headline. <clears throat> this is from the Daily Beast. Elementary school principal dead in apparent suicide. Okay, is there anything funny about an elementary school principal killing himself? You, you, you know, it's, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's no longer uh, depressed. Uh, so I'm happy for the guy that he's, that he's out of his misery, but, it, but it's not funny that an elementary school principal is dead in an apparent suicide until you add one word to the headline. Elementary school principal dead in apparent Disneyland suicide. So this dude, this depressed dude, uh, goes into Disneyland and takes himself out. 51-year-old uh, Christopher Christensen, what he did is he jumped from a multi-story parking structure at Disneyland uh, on Saturday, and it's not just any uh, any parking uh, structure. It is called the Mickey and Friends parking structure at Disneyland. The Mickey and Friends. Uh, parking st structure, the vast seven-story garage was the largest parking structure in the country when it first opened in the year 2000. That, of course, has been eclipsed since then. Uh, in the years since, several other people have died by suicide after jumping from the Mickey and Friends parking structure. So, that's funny. You know, it's all about context. Uh, you know, Terrence McKenna, you know, talking about doing mushrooms. He, you know, he talks about the set and the setting are every bit as important as the actual mushrooms. Uh, just, he, 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 you know your mental, emotional, spiritual set and the setting where you do them. Uh, you know, jumping off uh, just some boring apartment building. Who cares? But jumping off the Mickey and Friends parking structure. Anyway, okay, so that one I could have made a rant about. Um, okay, we're going to do two more. Alright. Uh, okay, we're going to go to Sub-Saharan Africa, where uh, people know I enjoy news from Sub-Saharan Africa, and so I'm going to read the second half of this of the uh, headline: Tragedy after flash flood kills 14 people. Okay, a flash flood killing 14 people, even though it's in sub-Saharan Africa, 
and, and, and these 14 people never should have been born, it's not, it's not ironic, it's not dark and absurd that 14 people uh, died in a tragedy after a flash flood. Here is the reason, I, surely, that it was sent to me and the reason that it's worthy of a Humpty Dumpty tribe rant. We have to get the first half. We have to get the set and setting of the tragedy. River baptism ceremony ends in tragedy after flash flood <laughs> kills 14. 14 people have been found dead after a congregation, you know, a baptism congregation of 33 people attending a river baptism were caught in sudden flash flooding in South Africa's Juske River on Saturday afternoon. Uh, there you go. Uh, well, I'm sh quite sure they are uh, closer to their God. Are the? Are they? What is that song? Uh, what do you song? Do you sing it? Baptisms. Anyway, uh, they wasted no time getting together. So fourteen people drowning in a flash flood when they go to get baptized. That's funny. That's fucking hilarious. Hell yes. You go, God. All right, now this one. Uh, I, 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 uh, I, I don't know what to do with this. I, I honestly don't know if this is funny or not. I honestly don't know, but if anybody does not understand what this has to do with uh, the state of this fucking planet, uh, obviously, or how, I'm just, I'm just going to read, well, I'm not going to read the whole story, but just like the first half of it. This is Huff Post. Huh. Those little limp dick lefties at Huff Post. Ten-year-old, ten-year-old boy charged as adult after fatal shooting of mom. Well, let's stop right there. So a ten-year-old boy fatally shot his mother and is now being charged as an adult. So far, not funny, and, I'm, and I don't know if the, at the second half of the, uh, the, the headline is funny or not. Ten-year-old boy charged as an adult after fatal shooting of mom who refused to buy him a headset. A 10-year-old Wisconsin boy has been charged as an adult after he told police he fatally shot his mother when she refused to buy him a virtual reality headset on Amazon, Authority said. He also said he was angry because she woke him up a half hour earlier than his usual time the day of the shooting in the family's Milwaukee home on November 21st. The day after, the day after his mother's death, so I guess he was still at home, so he kills his mother. Uh, she wouldn't buy him the headset, so she's dead, and the next day, he lo this 10-year-old logged on to her Amazon account to buy the headset online, according to the criminal complaint against him. Um, the boy did reportedly apologize for killing his mom, but officials said he appeared to show no real remorse. He admitted that he shot his 44-year-old mother, quote, in the face when she was approximately three feet away, the complaint said. He then 
woke up his sister to tell her what had happened. The boy initially claimed the gun had accidentally discharged as he was twirling it around. Uh, his sister told authorities that her brother had rage issues all of his life and had five different imaginary people that talked to him. Good Lord, uh, how many imaginary people do I have talking to me every time I open up the comments on YouTube? I have a hell of a lot more than five imaginary people talking to me every day. So I guess this is according to his sister uh, talking about uh, spinning things around. When he was four years old, he would spin the family's puppy around in the air by its tail as it whined and howled in pain. The complaint started. Yes. The next, the, the day after the shooting, when he saw his grandmother crying, the boy, quote, stated without any empathy or compassion, I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm sorry for killing my mom. Then, after he apologized to his grandmother, quote, he then asked her if his Amazon package had arrived. The complaint said the boy has been charged with first degree reckless homicide. If convicted, he faces 60 years in prison. He should be facing uh, getting twirled around by his dick as he howls and screams in pain and then getting shot in the face. How about that for a little bit of virtual reality? Good God, you, you know, that rant, uh, these rants that I've been doing on these fucking little uh, millennials and th this generation, these uh, 10 year old not getting a virtual reality headset. A whole new definition of temper tantrum. So, uh, is that one funny? You know, virtual reality headsets. Who needs virtual reality when you've got the mainstream media? But anyway, it is freezing. And, uh, but guys, keep the cards and letters coming. Uh, as I say, if, if you think there's anything that I need to be uh, <laughs> made aware of, uh, and it really gives me insight into the, the minds of my own imaginary friends to find out what you guys think are, uh, is humorous or otherwise interesting. It really gives me a peek inside the brain of a uh, Humpty Dumpty tribe, tribes member. Anyway, I think I'm going to head over to Netflix and see what kind of trash I can dig up over there. Bye, guys.